peace everybody welcome to my channel um i just wanted to talk a little bit today about uh seed starting and this video is uh just a conversation really for uh, people who are just beginning um i just want to talk a little bit about the seeds that i have and where they come from and uh, when to plant them and things of that nature um, as you can see here I got kind of a small variety of different kinds of seeds I have um, sunflowers and uh, peppers and uh, I have cabbage seeds uh, summer squash uh, some lima beans flowers just a little just just kind of a small variety of everything uh that you would plant in the in, in the in the later in the spring um i just want to say to beginners that uh you know uh if you don't have your seeds yet why not you know this is the time to go down to your store or uh, your big box store and pick them up or this is the time to uh order them from whatever seed company uh, of your choosing. Um, so basically, I mean, you know, this is something that should be fun, I think. Um, you shouldn't uh, spend a whole lot of time fighting over uh, uh, all of the, the, the technical jargon and all of the, um, you know, uh, different varieties and stuff like this I mean you, um, I watch a lot of videos on YouTube for inspiration and for uh, also for uh, for information and um, I hear a lot of guys on there they talk about uh, uh, micro uh, nutrients and pH and um, you know um, companion planting and all of this different stuff like that and all of that stuff is important I think but I think um, for a beginner, it's not necessary. I think uh, the main thing for a beginner is to just get started, you know. But anyway, um, I just want to say that uh, on here, on, on these seed packages, it has the instructions. If you're, you know, if you're so new to planting, you don't know where to begin or whatever. These seed packages have instructions on them. And it tells you uh, when to plant where to plant whether it be in the sun or in the shade right here it says full sun and um, you know moderate uh, water well uh, when watering you know so what you need to know is on the packages so there's really no you know there's really no excuse uh, to get started and there's, uh, there's there's there shouldn't be a whole don't make a don't don't turn it into a job you know make it keep it uh, uh, enjoyable and uh, and um and I think you'll get more out of it, you know. Um, um another thing is some of these seeds that I get, I order them from uh I order them online. You see Eden Brothers. This is an online seed provider, uh Johnny's. I also order from um uh, uh Sandia C company right here. I order from them. I order these all from them. And I just want to say that um don't be scared to go to your big box store and pick up seed like these here. All of these seeds come from I believe now I could be wrong about that. Maybe maybe these aren't from the big box store. No, these are not, these are not. I'm sorry, but these are. These all of these seeds come from the big box store. You know, go down to your big box store and pick up, if you're just getting started, just pick a couple couple variety. Maybe pick you some peppers, some uh, bell peppers, get you some summer squash or something like that. Get something that's easy to grow. Um, just If you're just starting out, get something that's easy to grow. Uh, don't, don't spend a lot of time trying to get so many different varieties. Um, get maybe four or five variety, different varieties of... Uh, not different varieties, but four or five plants or types of plants or four or five different vegetables that you want to grow. Maybe one variety of each. And, um, and you know, that'll, that'll help you get started. Now, I want to, I want to, um, oh, this is another company too. This is Twilly. And these are my uh, King of the Garden lima beans. People are really crazy about 
about this. I'm in the South. I'm in the uh, South Central United States. It is January 3rd, I believe. Um, I'm sorry, February 3rd, and it's about 50 degrees here where I am. But another thing I want to say, too, is um, when you're ordering these seeds online, pay attention to what the shipping cost is because um, if, it's the, if the shipping cost is too high on these seeds, just avoid that company altogether because it, it, it's really exploitation. And I think that um, gardening should be fun. And it, 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 we, we get exploited enough uh, do, it, it, in our lives and other ways, other aspects of our lives. So if the, sh if the shipping is too expensive, just avoid that company altogether and uh, find a place that has decent uh, shipping costs, shipping prices. Um, Twilly, for, I think if I'm, well, I won't say that now because I'm not sure. But yeah, try to avoid uh, uh, these uh, these these high shipping prices. Now I want to just uh, uh, change uh, switch over here to my uh, seed starter mix that I use. Now this is this here is um, I just want to tell you what each each thing does. This is my seed starter mix that I use every year to start my seedlings. This right here is uh, peat moss. And what peat moss does is it um, holds nutrients in to your soil. That's what peat moss does. See how light it is, and it it keeps your um, nutrients in place in your soil. This is perlite. Perlite right here. What it does is when you have all of your all of these uh, together, perlite keeps them from coming together so tight to where the soil doesn't drain so you need this to keep the soil draining you need it's very important that your soil drain particularly when you're uh, starting when you're starting seeds um, this is compost this is uh, at least two years old this is just a blend of um, it's not really a blend what it is is it's mulched uh, it's chipped uh, trees, pine ne pine needles, leaves, and it was it, it, it was just it was chipped by whoever, and it was left in a pile for at least two years. And so what I do is I blend the the three together, one to one to one, and this is what it looked like when they're all together. And it's just excellent. It's excellent for uh, uh, for starting seeds. You know, um, I said before I blend them one to one to one. Um, but you can kind of eyeball the perlite, which is the white one, because, uh, you know, you can use too much of it and too much perlite will make your soil drain too fast and it'll make your drain and it will make your, uh, your, your starter mix dry out too fast. So you can kind of eyeball of that, eyeball that, and, um, you can use less of, of the perlite if necessary. Now, I realize um, that some people won't be able to, a lot of people won't be able to mix their own seed starter mix. So, I recommend going down to your big box store for, for you beginners, for people who are just starting out growing. Um, I recommend going down to your big box store and, um, and just getting a bag of this. You know, this is the, uh, this is Jiffy. Um, uh, they call it natural and organic uh, seed starter mix but um, this is all you need to get started and in this way you won't have to do any mixing or anything it's just it's ready to use pretty much out of the bag so I hope this video has been helpful to you uh, if there's any que if you have any questions or comments leave them down below uh, if you like what you learned today like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one thank you